Hi, my name is Don, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to view the popular iPod silhouette effect. As you see, it's not just a silhouette, you can see uh, some of the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to open uh, the image that you want to do the effect on. Um, a render is always easier, but if you want to cut out uh, an image, then that's fine too. But I'm going to use a render here just to make it easier on me and faster for you. So we'll find us a couple of dancers and go ahead and get rid of our iPod. Okay, and what we're going to want to do is get rid of all the white in the background. So uh, the problem is the guy's collar is white and his bow tie is white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just use the pencil and I'm just going to go ahead and finish out his collar, go from his skin down to his jacket. and. Uh, trace around his bow tie. This way when I use the magic wand it won't uh, it won't select the white in his collar and in his bow tie. So we'll just go from the black jacket and trace around to the darkness on his chin. Pretty simple. And this just eliminates the uh, the white line between the white in the background and his collar. Okay, so now we'll use the, uh, we'll just go ahead and erase this at the bottom. We'll use the magic wand and we will select the white background and then we will go to select inverse and select modify and expand by one pixel. That way we can get everything that needs to be gotten. Okay, and now we will copy and open a new canvas. It'll already be sized for you. Just click OK and go to Edit and Paste. Okay, now we have our image. We can get rid of the original. And as I said before, uh, the iPod silhouettes, they're not just a silhouette. They also have a little bit of the, uh, the actual image so that you can, it's just, you know, just kind of a pop, uh, pop art kind of thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this guy's collar, use our magic wand, and if you click on select, uh, you can click on the white, and then if it doesn't bring up all the white, you can click on more of the white with the select button depressed, and you can bring it all up. Okay, now we will edit and copy this. All right, and uh, file make a new canvas, it will already be sized, just click OK and edit and paste. Okay, there's our collar, we'll just kind of move it to the side for now. And we're also going to grab the uh, the woman's red cape and gloves and the bottom of her dress. So we'll take our magic wand and click on the red, hold down the select button and click on the rest of the red. Click on the red at the bottom of her dress. And you see that brings up a little bit of a glove and click on uh, more of the red on her glove. Okay, now we will edit and copy this. Alright, and we will file, make a new canvas. It will already be sized. Just click on OK and edit and paste. And we'll just bring that down to the side. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. Uh, I actually already have a layer, but uh, I'll just for the Heck of it, we'll create a new layer anyway. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going up. Oh, well, I see there's a little piece here, so we're going to delete that. Okay, we're going to uh, select on our new layer and control and click on the thumbnail, and that's going to bring up our selection. And now we'll just use our paint bucket and fill it in with black. Now you see we have our silhouette, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, you don't have to make a new layer because when you drag in your collar, and that's what we're going to do, we're going to drag our collar in with our uh, selection tool, our move selection tool, and we're going to stick the collar back where it's supposed to go. Okay, and then also we will move in our red. Uh, just use your move tool and drag in your the the ladies red cape and gloves 
and put that back where it's supposed to go. And as you see by doing this, uh, it just makes it a lot easier to tell that they're actually wearing formal wear. And we'll make this a little bigger so you can see it better. Go ahead and get rid of our copies. And we'll make this a little bigger. Okay, and what we're going to do next is we're going to select on our, we're already selected on our cape. We're just going to uh, change the opacity to 15% and select on our collar and our bow tie and, and change the opacity to 15 percent and now you see that's um, make it back to original size and there we have it that's our iPod silhouette effect and as you can see with the red and the white uh, the opacity turned down you can tell that they're actually wearing formal wear and that's it the iPod silhouette effect Thank you very much.